Hey guys, this is Scott, and we're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park uh, with another one of these Bible unboxings. I got a, a, a wonderful uh, gift in the mail uh, from Amazon from my mother for graduating uh, college. It's actually the second gift I got. The first one was uh, from my mom and brother. It was a common man's lambskin, wide margin study Bible. Just a, just a blessing. But this one is one that I have on the shelf, uh, the old Hendrickson one, or no, Kirkbride, um, that I don't really use too much, especially now that it is um, more of a collector's item. But this is the new one from Thompson Chain Reference. I think it's even like the newest batch or whatever. Um, and it's a, you'll see what it is. It's awesome. So it's totally updated. And I hope that it encourages me to use it a little bit more. Um, I have a pastor friend that moved up here. Whoa, sorry guys. Whoops, knocked it over with the box. <laughs> what a goofball. Anyway, that will won't be edited out because you know, guys, how I just roll. And we pray that that connection keeps working in the name of Jesus. So, yeah, this is a Thompson chain reference. But anyway, I was trying to say I have a pastor friend that moved up here uh, to Montana, uh, Pastor Rick, and he's uh, went to Calvary Chapel School uh, for a couple of years before he started doing pastoral work. And uh, I'm hoping that we can maybe use this to go scripture with scripture, sola scripture, however you say it. But this is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It's the King James Version, of course. It says here, exclusive, easy to read, comfort print, KJV, reference edition, large print. Might as well just get it. It's a little easier to read, especially when it gets to the smaller stuff. And then lay flat. It is a Thompson Chain Reference, large print, known and trusted since 1908 revised and updated the box looks like it might have got tossed around in the box so it's a little it's a little broken up here so you can thank uh, amazon or i can thank amazon for that for not putting a little bubble wrap in there to stop that from happening um, but that's all good and this is in the brown leather soft I believe it has a cross on there so it's like a clamshell box open that up put that over there and hopefully not knock over the camera so yeah okay so no cross i thought it was the one that had the cross on it but that's cool holy bible nice thompson chain reference kjv zondervan hope and do pray that they did do uh the beginning in the beginning was uh god created the heaven and the earth and the spirit of the lord hopefully they have that capitalized that's a really important for some people not such a big deal for me, but I do have one that doesn't have that. And let's just check it out right now. Yeah, it is. So I have one by Zondervan over there, just a little gift Bible. And the spirit right there, the word S, is not capitalized. So that's that's a hiccup for some people. Like I said, not so much for me, but I do like to see it. And uh, that's how you can check your KJV, at least uh, one of uh, several places that you can do it to make sure that it is uh, proper. All righty. So, yeah, that's the Thompson Chain reference. And uh, like our friend Kat likes to say, when you get a new book or Bible, you want to open that thing up and don't just kind of like jump in there and start going. I mean, we might want to do this, but then you can kind of just go over here. I'll do it quickly. Kind of push down a little bit and then push down over here a little bit just so the binding loosens up and you go through the entire Bible, you know, like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch uh, chunks and kind of do that. Work your way through the Bible. I'll do the majority of that later. Uh, actually, we're almost there already, so we'll just continue on with that show you a couple features now we aren't going to keep going just like that until you get all the way to the middle so this is the giant print edition i believe it is a 10.5 font and the cool thing about this thompson chain reference is that you can you can go through the entire bible in any particular subject that they have here on the sides and uh you can trace it down so that you know what scripture says. And then there's a law first mentioned uh, that some people believe that when a, a particular word is used the first time. Yeah, that's really awesome, Mark, that it, it, it should, you should see the thread be similar through the entire Bible as the first time it's used. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but we can definitely look into it. There's even a Bible that uh, has that as its preface, the first mentioned study Bible. So we'll get these ribbons out. They got two nice uh, ribbons. 
satin ribbons. Great. Um, they even feel like Beresford ribbons, believe it or not, which is what usually is used on premium Bibles. If that's the case, that's super duper cool. The thickness seems good. The length, I say, should and could be a little longer. So it looks like there might be someone coming in. So I'm going to wrap this up, guys. We might get into it a little bit more, but it's got a vinyl uh, paste down right there, presented page. The, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So no, they're pulling out. So we actually have a little more time to go over this. Don't want to take too much of your time. So yeah, it's the old Thompson chain reference. You get in here, it's got all the information, contents, Old Testament, New Testament, comprehensive Bible helps on page 1503. Gives you a little bit about that. It's got 8,000 topical listings, over 100,000 marginal references. There's a whole comprehensive uh, study helps here. This is a wonderful tool. It's been updated by Zondervan. The only bummer, um, and I guess it's okay because it is already kind of thick, um, is that they took out the uh, archaeological supplement in the back, which I actually love for study. They said that was the least most uh, least popular function, and uh, it wouldn't, I don't know. I guess it would have made it a little bit thicker. So uh, I got the old one by Kirk Bright, and I can always check it out if I want to put things together. So yeah, special abbreviations, and then how to use. And then you just jump right in there. I believe the paper is uh, just a 30 GSM, and it's not too thick, so it's just regular uh, cheapo study Bible paper, crinkly and and whatnot. But it's just a study Bible. It's not a, necessarily a premium Bible by any means. Um, so the the paper is what it is. And then you got your introduction, Genesis, uh, author Moses, commonly accepted. The dates written, little summary and to whom it's written to and major chains in here you can go right there and get those right from the bat and then here you go here's here's the thompson chain reference genesis right there bam let's just go to the middle see how this thing lays flat i think we already saw that it does pretty well not going to from the beginning too well until i work it in and use it more so yeah there's it and then say you want to Check out a particular topic. Let's see blessings right here, down here. Blessing, uh, there's two. It's a uh, number 481, and here's the verse. And it's right there by blessing. It's right there. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessings. So you got blessings and spiritual showers there's two different topics in here and so you go right here to 481 in the back oh sorry about that it, it tried to disconnect the uh, the signal is weak out here so we go to 481 we were back here blessings and there's several different um sub subtitles or whatever number one explanation temporal and spiritual blessings and here you go. Here's some of the cross references. And the first one is Genesis 22:17. So you could go there and then you start with the subject of blessing. You can follow it all the way, uh, looks like all the way until the book of James. And some of the prominent ones in red are actually here. So you could just read them straight up instead of actually going to them. There's some other ones here that are also mentioned that are, that correlate with that subject. But right here, Genesis 22, 17, that in blessing, I will bless thee in, and in multiplying, I will multiply thee, thy seed as the stars of the heaven, as the sand, which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And then the next reference is 26, 24 of Exodus and 20, or Genesis, and then Exodus 20, 24, and then 23, 25 is red. So that would be the next prominent connect. And this one, and then we'll wrap this up because the connection is poor. Exodus 23, 25, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away 
from the midst of these. So yeah, you would go all the way back to the first one and you could trail the whole subject and get exactly what scripture says about that particular subject of blessing. And that's pretty cool because that's my wife's favorite. I always say, you're the best. And she says, I'm the blessed. Amen. And then back here in the back, that's a numeral, numerical index. And I believe there's also an alphabetical index. So you can, if you want to look up Messiah or miracles or a particular subject, and then it'll tell you the pilot number or the number that it starts with. And then you go there and you can start from the beginning of the Bible, the first time that it's mentioned, and go all the way to the end. And there's no commentary in there. There's no uh, people's opinions. Um, and trust me, I appreciate... Uh, Bible study Bibles. I have them all. My favorite, as you know, is my Ruckman Reference Bible. Ain't getting no better than that. But if you want to just find out what Scripture says and reinforce some of the things that maybe you've learned before, this would be a great option for you. It's just wonderful. In the back, there's uh, other cool things. The maps have been updated. You got all the the, the different color, it's the comfort print, it's in a 10 point font, at least the uh, text of the Bible is, and then, yeah, you got all the, here's the end of the references all the way up to, looks like 42, uh, 18, and then right here, condensed outline of the Bible, you got your different uh, outlines, and then there's just a whole chunk back here of extra information, and then there's maps, and there's all kinds of cool stuff the maps have been updated, and a lot of them obviously have scripture. They tell you what they are, and then you can actually go into the scripture and see what it says. And then you have your regular Bible concordance, which gives you particular subjects, and then some uh, list of scriptures abbreviated with some of the words so you can find them. You don't even need an internet connection like we were having trouble with earlier. And then you got a color map index. You have some note pages. Those are on regular paper. Note regarding the type, that was a King James typeset. Beautiful maps in the back. It is Smythe sewn. It is a vinyl, I think, in lining or something like that, I don't know. And it is paste down, but it is sewn on the edges, which is beautiful. It's Smythe sewn in the middle, so it should stay together pretty good. And the New Testament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, with all the words recorded therein, have been spoken by our Lord and printed in red. So whenever Jesus speaks in here, go to the Gospels, even in Acts right there. This is a wonderful big print. So you can go right and see where Jesus speaks right there. Some people love that. I don't really carry the way. It's kind of cool, and especially for a study Bible. So there you go. There you have it. Thompson Chain Reference in brown. Holy Bible, brand new updated version. Wonderful, wonderful studies tool. Probably one of the most popular and favorite by uh, people from uh, since 1908. Scripture with Scripture and some helps in the back. You have a great day too, brother. And again, if you guys need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS. And let's do one more thing if we can get there real quick. If you're not saved today or you're not sure, you can give me a call and we can settle that with the Lord and make sure that you have assurance of your salvation, that you're going to heaven. But if you're not saved at all, let's see what the word says right here. In Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and thou and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. And then it says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So right there, you believe on Jesus, confess his name, you'll be saved. So if you want to come to Christ right now and you've never made the decision, just come to him right now and say, Lord Jesus, forgive my sin and save my soul. I believe what your word says and I'm trusting you for my salvation and you alone. In Jesus' name, amen. If you made the decision for Christ and you need help in your walk or anybody does, just give us a call. We actually do have uh, some Bibles here, and we have a connection for a study Bible that we can send you for free if you don't have money to buy one. All righty. God bless you guys. Check out our website at oneaccordcrusades.com or the stuff that we have going on here at the God's Ten Park at gods10ca.com. Take care. Jesus loves you, and so do we.